What's up everybody, my name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about The Fallen Star by Claudia Gray. So The Fallen Star is part of the final wave of phase one of The High Republic. We still have a YA book coming out in February, but this is the conclusion to our trilogy of adult novels. First we had Light of the Jedi, then we had The Rising Storm, and now we're kind of seeing it all come to a head here in The Fallen Star. I'm not gonna lie, I've been pretty hyped for this book. I love Claudia Gray. She's one of my favorite authors. I've been really excited for her to write for the adult novels for High Republic because I did like her young adult novel, you know, Into the Dark was good, but wasn't my favorite. So I was really excited to get into this one. And not gonna lie, didn't really meet my expectations. The problem with The Fallen Star for me specifically is that there aren't enough character moments. There are so many characters in this book, which is a similar problem to what I had with Light of the Jedi. And there's so many times that the POV just shifts all of a sudden, like it'll shift within a chapter to the point where I was like, you know, oh man, I really wanted to spend more time in this scene. I was, you know, we were building some tension, we were building some drama, but then like all of a sudden we switched and maybe like the next POV is like only a paragraph and it has nothing to do with what we were just doing. And it just took me out of it a little bit good thing is is that these characters were already established so it was still an easy like an okay read for me because I already knew these characters I already sympathized with them I already know their wants their desires so even though it was bothering me that it was switching so much it would be easy for me to at least get back in to this new character whereas like Light of the Jedi it would just be really jarring because I didn't know these people and the second I got settled suddenly we'd be thrown into something else but that does make me wonder if I would like this book less if it had come earlier on in the series. Like if this has been the second book instead of the third book, I feel like I'd be more worried about the higher public. So I'd be like, oh God, like these books are just really switching point of views all over the place. Like I can't get settled. Like I feel like the tension's not building. But as a conclusion, that did make it kind of suffer because as we were getting to the end, like as things were like really like boiling and like heating up, I still felt like we were missing something. So The Fallen Star does take place almost entirely on Starlight Beacon, uh, which if you read the comics, normally that is the setting for most of our comics. And Avar Chris is the marshal of Starlight Beacon. So I was expecting her to play a really big part in this and she doesn't, she's really not around at all. So I'm wondering if that means her side of the story is still being reserved for the comics. And my worry here is that with all of our other books with the higher public, like even all of our spinoff comics, it's kind of okay if you're not reading everything. Like obviously you're gonna have a better experience if you read everything, but it seems like up until this book, if you're not reading everything, like it, it's gonna be okay. Like if you're just reading the adult novel or if you're just reading young adult or junior or whatever, like it makes more sense if you read them all, but you know, to each their own, not everybody's gonna read everything. However, with Fallen Star, if you haven't read young adult novels, you're gonna be lost. If you haven't read the comics, it's not gonna hit the same. If you haven't read the junior novels, you're gonna be missing puzzle pieces. So I worry and I wonder, you know, what it was like for those people who haven't been like fully immersed in everything. One of my biggest problems, other than the fact that Avar Chris isn't in it, is that the side with the Nile. So we get to learn some things about like Marky and Roe and there is an inside agent that is working with the Nile that has been like within the Republic, within the Jedi, blah, blah, blah. This character, I felt like I missed something completely. Like even when I was like, oh, well, maybe I was supposed to read the junior novel first. I went back and I read that and I was like, no, I still feel like I'm missing something. I still feel like there's this huge piece of the puzzle missing. And there's actually a whole half of the story that isn't told because we're only seeing it from even though admittedly a lot of perspectives, there's so many other perspectives that we don't see it from. So I'm guessing that story is gonna be told through comics and other types of books. But as it was, I just felt like we were really missing out on this whole other part of the story. As it is, I think Fallen Star is a good read. Like honestly, I could go back and I could read it again. I do have some things with how it ends I'm not going to reveal, but you know me, I like to be in denial. So there are some things that are happening and I'm like, that's not happening. <laughs> no, it's, please, like the, Claudia, no, that's not happening. It's, it's gonna be reversed later on. So I still have my clown makeup on for certain things, but I feel like I could, go, I could go back and easily read The Fallen Star again. I liked meeting up with the Vessel crew again, which was really fun. We get to see a lot with Belle. We get a lot with Stellan and Elzar, but it still left me feeling like something's missing and that I want 
more. Like the story is so obviously not over. And that definitely could be because there are more phases. Like obviously the High Republic isn't over, but it is kind of leaving me wondering, like I don't know what direction we're going from here. I don't exactly know what's gonna happen from this point on. So I am giving The Fallen Star a B minus. I think that might be lower than what I gave Light of the Jedi, which is weird because I like this more than Light of the Jedi, but there's just so many things that were just so, it was such a weird choice that Claudia did with this book. So a little iffy. I'm still excited going into like the last YA book that'll be coming out soon. I'm excited to see like how the comics are going to wrap up. I'll do my typical wrap up of this wave of the higher public once I catch up a little bit more on the comics. So at it's interesting. I, I don't really know what to expect going from here, but I would say this book definitely just didn't hit the way I was wanting it to. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.